I'm going to give a talk about diversity and family, and that is one of the things that makes this society such a joy to be part of. So let us not take for granted being together like this. And hello to everybody online. Uh, we're uh, thinking of you too, and really happy that we can be here in this in this hybrid environment. So in my abstract to this talk, I said something like, uh, demonstrating how individual level cultural transmission scales up to produce macro level patterns of cultural diversity is this evergreen problem for cultural evolution. I also said I did not have a solution to how to do that, and I'd like you to bear that in mind during this talk. So today's not about the destination, it's about the journey, and it's about some of the findings that appeared along the way. So Varakin, the project that I'll describe today, started with these two questions. Why do human societies differ in who they classify as family? And what influences the patterns of cultural diversity that we see? Kinship is a topic that has been foundational in anthropology, and it permeates all human social behavior. Uh, the family we're born into, uh, care, responsibilities, patterns of affiliation in our community, all of this is structured by patterns of kinship. Kinship terminology, uh, the language structures that we use to denote and classify different members of uh, kin, has this really curious position, straddling language, straddling culture, biology, and cognition, and not being firmly in, in any one of those particular domains. So our